The Braver Hunter is a fast-moving hybrid class that can fight up close with a katana or at a distance with a bow. Most Braver players choose to use one weapon or the other, but for this build, we are going to make the most of both weapons for maximum versatility. Let's take a look at the skill trees for this build. First thing we do is put 3 points into Dexterity Up 1 in order to open up the skill tree. When you reach the appropriate levels, acquire Sidestep Jump, First Art's Perfect Attack Edition, Air Reversal, Perfect Recovery and Attack Combo, and Double Jump. At level 80, max out High Level Bonus Braver. Next, grab Sidestep Tackle, which allows you to deal damage when you dodge into an enemy. Follow this with Katana Focus, and upgrade it with Counter Edge, Counter Bonus, and Katana Focus Boost. This grants you the Katana Focus Gauge, which increases your melee damage as it fills. When the gauge is full, performing a counterattack by attacking immediately after blocking will temporarily grant an enhanced state that increases your melee damage even further, while also increasing the PP you regenerate when attacking. In this state, your focus gauge will deplete over time, and the state will end when the gauge is empty. Next, max out Enhanced Attack, which boosts the damage of normal attacks. Follow this with Quick Mate, which lets you drink potions faster. The default stance we use with the katana is Basic Stance, which increases the damage dealt by all damage types. Max out Basic Stance, Basic Stance Up, and grab Basic Stance Charge. The next thing to grab is Katana Combat. Max it out along with Combat Perfect Attack Bonus, Combat Escape, and Combat Finish. Katana Combat makes your Katana attacks faster and grants invulnerability. Activating the ability again while it's still active ends the ability with a powerful shockwave that hits everything around you, dealing more damage the more attacks you landed while the ability was active. We are going to also learn the second stance Braver uses, which is Precision Stance. This stance makes you deal extra damage when you attack an enemy's weak point, while also adding a damage bonus to techniques if using an enemy's elemental weakness. Max out Precision Stance, Precision Stance Up, and Precision Stance Charge. Triggering Precision Stance turns off Basic Stance, so you only use one or the other at any given time. Next, we're going to focus on our bow skills. Max out Rapid Fire. Put 3 points in Rapid Fire up 1. Max out Rapid Fire 2, Rapid Fire Mastery, and Advanced Rapid Fire. This is a skill that temporarily trades the damage you deal with each arrow for an increase in firing rate. Put 3 points into Charge Shot to increase the power and velocity of bow attacks you charge. And lastly, Grab Bow Charge Bonus, which reduces the PP cost and charge time of Bow Photon Arts. We use the standard Hunter subclass for this build. First, put 6 points into HP 1 up. When you reach level 80, be sure to max out High Level Bonus Hunter. Next, maxed out Perfect Attack Bonus 1 and 2. Fury Stance is also important. Maxing out every component of Fury Stance will grant us a melee and range damage bonus, while also granting an increase in critical hit rate. Next, putting 3 points into Guard Stance will give us access to the skill Automate Half, which we will max out. This skill makes us automatically use a potion when we drop below 50% HP. And lastly, we will max out Iron Will and Stalwart Spirit which together grant a 75% chance to survive a fatal blow with one hit point, and grants you 15 seconds of invincibility. For travel, we have the Katana Photon Arc Morning Mist Reaver, which makes you dash forward quickly and make a series of attacks. Dodging at the end of the dash allows you to cancel the attacks and trigger the art again, allowing you to move really quickly. Mobbing with a Katana is all about the Photon Arc Flash of the Lotus. This art makes you dash through enemies and follow up with a wide slash. Spamming this attack while using katana combat will clear groups of enemies quickly. If using a bow for momming, using the rapid fire ability and charge attacks can do the trick. The photon art Million Storm, which allows you to fire an endless barrage of arrows so long as you hold the button down, is also effective. For bossing, 
we always use Precision Stance. If bossing with a katana, combine katana combat with Cherry Blossom Finale Type 0. This art slashes your target twice. Charge this attack, unleashing it when the, cha the charge circle is smallest. After the first slash, hold the button down for a short time and let go to unleash the second slash. This takes some practice to get right, but is really effective. Bossing is when the bow really shines, but takes a few steps. First, we use Chaser Arrow, which fires off a shot that is stored in a different dimension. Store three of these. Next, fire a charged Banishing Arrow at your target's weak point. This leaves a bomb that keeps track of the damage you deal to it for three seconds. Shoot this bomb with the photon art Final Nemesis, which should also cause the chaser arrows to reappear and hit the bomb. If you time it right, you should also be able to hit the bomb with a piercing arrow before it explodes. When it explodes, the total damage you inflicted to the bomb is inflicted to the enemy again. For skill rings, we use Brave Power, which makes it easier to increase your hit count during katana combat, and Bow Homing which makes charge normal attacks home in on targets when using the bow. We also use Perfectionist, which increases our melee and range damage when our health is above 75%. Lastly, you should be using a Dex Mag, with 200 levels of Dex support. 